Patriots head coach texted Flores that he was guaranteed to get the Giants head coaching job that eventually went to Bill's offensive coordinator, Brian Dable. Belichick then texted him back and said he misread the message and apologized. The Giants, Broncos, and Dolphins all said the claims that made by Flores were false and inaccurate. The Giants released a statement saying, We interviewed an impressive and diverse group of candidates. The fact of the matter is, Brian Flores was in the conversation to be our head coach until the 11th hour. Ultimately, we hired the individual we felt that was most qualified to be our next head coach. The Broncos released a statement saying, Pages of detailed notes, analysts, and evaluations from our interview demonstrate the depth of our conversation and sincere interest in Mr. Flores as head coaching as a head coaching candidate. Our process was thorough and fair to determine the most qualified candidate for a head coaching position. Flores claimed that when he was interviewed for the head coaching vacancy for the Broncos back in 2019, former GM John Elway and his entire interviewing staff were drunk and showed up late. Elway also said the claims about him were false. The Dolphins released a statement as well saying the implications that were at, we acted in a manner con- inconsistent with the integrity of the game's incorrect, reported by many sources. Flores has interviewed for the Saints and Texan, Texans head coaching vacancy. Flores stated this about his lawsuit with the NFL and three other clubs. God has gifted me with a special talent to coach the game of football, but the need for change is bigger than my personal goals. In making the decision to file the class action complaint today, I understand that I am risking my coaching, or risking coaching the game that I love. My sincere hope is that by standing again, up against racism in the NFL, others will join me to ensure that positive change is made for generations to come. He is, rep- he is represented by Douglas Wigdor of Wigdor Law LLP.